So Mbappe has had a really good start to the season in game with a whopping 15 goals, 20 goal contributions in total in just 11 games. And if you add the preseason friendly matches, then that is 24 goal contributions in 14 games. Honestly, that is just insane. And I can only wish that he actually does this well in real life. I really hope that his season, his first season in Madrid is not going to be like Messi's first season in PSG. I mean, he should be able to like get on his feet like later on. I don't expect him to like fuck the whole um, season up, but I mean, let's just look at what he does in real life. But as for the game, he's scoring banger after banger, match after match. So you guys should definitely hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more Kylian Mbappe Karim mode videos. We have a couple interesting matches to play in this episode. We have the El Clasico, so it's going to be Mbappe's first El Clasico. I'm really looking forward to that. So I might probably end the episode with this match against Napoli, which means that we are going to be starting with the match against Sevilla. I'm not going to be playing the full match for this. I'm going to play as Mbappe in the highlights. I really hope that we can actually do something here i mean we've been we've been delivering on all our matches that we've played so far apart from one match that we didn't score and that is actually a really good feat so let's just hope that um, we can continue that really really good run of form before we get into the match against barcelona all right starting with the counter attack but i really don't know how bellingham is going to play this should i like run immediately or not oh, what the fuck he was already like way offside i didn't even notice that all right, so we have um, a really good option with Rodrigo, but I don't know if I should play one time. I did, but he's probably not. Oh my God. Okay, we still have the ball and we don't have it anymore. That is quite sad, but now we have a solo run at the other end of the field. So I, I hope that we actually uh, make the most of this. I mean, he has not missed any of this recently. So I don't think he's going to start missing from, from now, to be honest. So that is the first goal of the match in the second half. And I mean, it's just that easy with him. I mean, that finishing is like crazy. All right, so we have a really good chance here. So I really hope they um, do a through ball. Yes, they do. And we probably would have Vinicius. Come on, score it. And that is just fucking stupid. Like, I can't lie. That is just like very, very dumb. That is just a really dumb way oh god we draw the match that is just a really dumb way to shoot to be honest like the keeper had the near post covered and bro is still trying to shoot towards the near post it makes no sense i should have even like gone all the way by myself because mbappe would definitely have outrun them i was just trying to be not stingy and that's what i get that is not as good a match as i wanted it to be i mean we did get the man of the match award obviously or rather we we got our goal but i mean i want to be winning this match barcelona is going to be like moving ahead and ahead if you keep drawing matches like this so up next we have the match against um se braga this one should be relatively easy as well so i am going to simulate it hopefully mbappe scores because i really i really need him to score i mean it's, it's the champions league pre, um group stage and we are two wins up already so this one i mean i don't think sc Braga should really like give us a problem to be honest and they actually don't and we do score as well we get a brace 30 second minutes and the 70th minute many scores the second goal for the team really good match we win the man of the match award yet again i'm really actually curious to see how many man of the matches that i have won in this season alone we've got 10 out of how many appearances 14 appearances that is crazy we have 18 goals in 14 that is also really good the brace really helped me out right now but in the la liga we have actually dropped down to third position because we are fucking up we are fucking up really bad i mean that draw against sevilla was just completely stupid like i hate it when that happens but i mean i really do not want to play like um the full matches all the time and i don't want to play as like the whole team because i mean it defeats the purpose of you know player career mode because as a player you're just not going to be playing you know as the whole team i mean we are getting ready for the match against um barcelona honestly i am getting ready for this to be a really tough match but i can only hope that this match ends up the way the match against and let's go madrid ended 6-0 or at least it should be that easy like forces like getting behind the defense and stuff i doubt it because this barcelona side is absolutely crazy so first versus third is what we have here it should have been first versus second if we did not fuck up that match against sevilla but um, let's hope that good things come of this match and let's get into it you know i actually wonder sometimes why how come the ai like when you're playing play, um, player career how come the ai doesn't play as smart as the um opposing team ai does when you're not playing player career i don't know if you guys understand what i'm saying like it's crazy like they act so dumb sometimes like it's very very annoying most times 
Okay. Oh, that is just sad. That is just sad. That could have gone anyway, completely. But I mean, he put so much power on it and he hit the post. All right, so we have a chance. I think we are going to be through here. This might just be our very first goal because Mbappe is not missing this. And that is the first goal in the new camp. Of course, we're going to score. And that just like that, it's a really good counter attack. Thankful to Carvajal for starting that move. Rodrigo was able to get to Mbappe. And well, that is a really good finish out of it. This is not the first time we're scoring like that. And uh, it's a really good strike. And 1-0 well, to Real Madrid. Another goal for Mbappe. We have... I think that should be like um, 15 in the league. I'm not sure. So now that we have scored um, the winning goal, I would honestly like to, um, you know, keep the lead, really. But we're in the new camp, so it's going to be like a lot harder, to be honest. But I would honestly love to keep the lead. Let's see what we can do here. And I keep, I keep messing that up. I keep forgetting to hold LT. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Score it, please. And oh my god, he, he took that straight at the keeper. Honestly, I could have scored that myself. It's just that I was not like I didn't feel really, really confident to like waste the time to like turn and like get a good shot on goal. So I just had to like pass it to whoever was there and was Valverde. So that is good. Yet another assist to Valverde, and that was actually a really good one at that. That's that was a really good um counter. I actually don't know why it's so easy. Remarge is proving to be a menace, to be honest. So I absolutely, I absolutely love it. Oh no. Save it please, Courtois. That is really good. That is really good. Oh my god. How the fuck do you score that? I was not expecting that at all. How does he... How the, how the, how the hell did he score that? that? That is unbelievable. To the last freaking corner. From that far, bro was able to generate that much power to get past a giant like Courtois. Bro, that is crazy. All right, give it to me. Oh my God, that was really close. All right, back to Vinicius. Can you get it back to Mbappe, please? All right, Valverde. Oh my God, I did not mean to do that. But okay. I don't, I don't know what Rodrigo was doing there. Like, why was he like trying to sort out his feet? He was like, trying to think of what to do like i said if this was like me playing against normal ai he would not have done that shit power shots gets it to me rudiger rodrigo back to me bellingham to vinicius to valverde to me and i probably shouldn't have like called for that pass there that was rather dumb bellingham all right i don't know why i I keep like calling for the pass, but then they pass someone else, and that person is now in a good position to shoot, and then they're not like pass to me because I already called for the pass. So I need to calm, I need to calm the fuck down. To be honest, we are at the risk of them equalizing. I have no idea what Manny is doing. I swear to God, if they fucking score that, that would like, that would be so annoying. Okay, Vinicius. Oh my God, Araujo is unbelievable with that. All right, that is a good interception from Bellingham. Can we? No. All right, that is perfect. And the, oh my god, that is just sad. That was really good play from the team. Really good play from Mbappe there as well. And Bellingham, that is just so unlucky because that could have gone into the post as well as hit the post. And well, like such power in that, to be honest. But um, we'll try again. Let's just hope that they do not equalize because if they do, I'm going to be so devastated, to be honest, because we, we deserve to win this match. All right, Bellingham, that is good. Please score it. Oh my God. He's, they waste so much time once they get the ball. It is so annoying. Get this to me. No, that's all I asked for. Bellingham, Rodrigo, please score it. Thank you. All right, that is exactly what I needed. That is exactly what I needed. Finally, we have the two goal deficit back. I don't know what Cancelo was doing. He was dreaming. Um, He got picked off by... um. Mendy took it to me. I gave it to Bellingham. Bellingham did a back heel to Rodrigo and 3 1, baby. I'm not going to lie, that goal actually gave me a little bit of peace of mind. So, I mean, what would be really, really nice right now is if we do not concede because that's just going to put like extra pressure in my mind and I'm really not looking forward to that. So, 
the mapping is already like really really low on um stamina so i need to like preserve his running a little bit let's hope that the defense can actually like hold out to the end of the match because it's just a couple minutes left i feel like we got this in the bag already like like the 3-1 results okay we still have the ball we don't have any more that was like i don't understand that first touch that first touch is crazy sometimes but that's a good save from Courtois. I think that's the end of the match. So Mbappe has won his first El Clasico. That is good. Um, he, he got a goal. He got an assist. If I'm not wrong. I think I think I got an assist in this match. I can't remember, but I think I did. So first El Clasico in the bag. Away from whom are that. So the next one at the Bernabeu. I mean, that one might be tougher. I don't know. But that was a really important match. So victory in Derby. Of course, we did really well in that match. We didn't really do that well, to be honest. But I mean, I'm still going to pick the Maverick points. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Because I mean, it just sounds like the most fun. Up next, we have the match against Rayo Vallecano. I'm going to be playing the highlights for this one. Hopefully, it doesn't end as annoying as the way um, the, the match against Waterface against um, Sevilla ended. But before I go into the match, let's look at the table real quick we are now first position we are drawn on points with barcelona so all we needed to do was to drag them back so right now we just need to maintain the run of form because the only reason why i'm not winning all the matches is because i'm either simulating sorry it's because i'm either simulating a match or i am um playing the highlights and they do that bullshit they do at the end where they magically score like a goal but i mean that one is still like um valid because you know as a striker as mbappe is and I'm playing just his highlights. I don't really get to do anything when they're defending. So, I mean, it makes sense. But the the um, the um loss during the simulation was just like the most annoying thing ever. So, I'm going to be playing the highlights. Like I said, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying the video. If you are enjoying this series in particular, uh, let me know in the comment section which player you would like me to um, play as next before FC25 starts. We're starting with a crossing opportunity, obviously. And I don't know if... Can we reach it? No, we cannot. That was completely unexpected because he actually crossed that before. I don't even think I called for the um, cross. Well, he crossed it like straight to me and well, it was a good cross just that um, my first touch on it was really bad. So that is another assist for Mbappe. Um, really good goal from Militao. Now we have a um, counter attack. Solo run at that. I don't think Mbappe is going to be able to get past this guy. Wait, what am I saying? How will Mbappe be able to get past that guy? Get to Vinicius. Who will score? Thank you. I was thinking he was going to do like some bullshit that I, I missed that, but that isn't the case. That is two goals um, for the team. Two assists for Mbappe. That is going to be long. I've, I've had like a multi-assist assist game. English just like is so hard sometimes, to be honest. I see you. Can you make it? You can. You make the header, but it's too soft. All right, so we have um, probably the last opportunity. Let's hope that we can make the most of this and score with it. Um, who's on the ball? All right, Mbappe. Oh my God, that is so close, but um, it just went out. But I mean, we don't score finally, but I mean, we do win the match thanks to our assist and stuff. So, I mean, I will still take that. Jesus, now that that match is over, I'm now, like, thinking about the whistling. Like, the, the whistling in that match was crazy. So, we simulated the last match against SE Braga, and we won it 3-0. And in the Champions League, I think we are still first, 9 points. So, I'm really, really tempted to simulate this again, honestly. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hopefully, we score again. But before I simulate it, um, we are currently the top scorer in the um, Champions League as well. Rashford, shockingly, is, like, second top scorer. Then we have Kane, his series Pepe. I wonder where Haaland is. It doesn't really make sense that Haaland is not on this list, but okay. The away fixture was relatively easy, so I'm, I'm pretty sure the home fixture should be like even easier against SC Braga. So let's hope that we come out with the win. We do another 3-0 win. We get another brace in the fixture, but this time it was Valverde that got the um, other goal, the second goal of the game. And that is actually really, really good. So um, we are almost on tier 3. It really doesn't matter, like I said. We're probably, like I said at the beginning, we're probably not ever going to get to... Oh, we're already here. So we need to get to here. We might possibly get to um, tier 6 before the end of the series. I doubt it, but it might be possible. So we might get like this last play style. I mean, it's really not going to matter because the map is already like completely goated. So we have a couple international friendlies between the match against Valencia and the match against Cadiz. So I think I might probably play the one against belgium because that is like the tougher one so i would play the full match for that one but you know what i'll play the easier one and i'll play the highlights for the tougher one because i really want to like get through that match like fast so i'm going to simulate um 
sorry, not simply. I'm going to play the highlights for the match against Valencia. But before I do that, let's look at the table real quick. We are currently fourth. We have a game at hand, obviously. Barcelona won their match, so we absolutely have to win our match as well. That is exactly what is needed here. To be honest, I don't know if Valencia used to be one of those teams that used to like really, really give Barcelona, Madrid, and um, Atletico Madrid a run for their money. But like recently, they've just not been doing as well as I thought that they used to. But um, I mean, let's hope that we can you know get the win here and not to receive bullshit from the game like they always like have me receive for some reason so let's hope they don't pass this to me immediately bellingham that is a good through pass can we score it definitely we can and that is the first goal of the match in the 10th minute mbappe has done it once again in the la liga and we have another counter attack hopefully they do not like give this to me straight away i really hope so i really hope so all right, that was my bad because I, I turned back. But I mean, we still got the ball there. But, you know, we might possibly like have Kamavinga like pass this to us real quick. Come on, do it fast. Naples, definitely. And that was a banger. We shot that. We blasted that into the post. Keeper had no freaking chance with that. So we might possibly get our first playable highlights um, hat trick. Oh, it's 2 2 already. That is, that is mental. That is mental, to be honest. Let's get this to Valverde. Who can I get this to? Vinicius, come on. Bellingham, maybe? No, that just... The keeper saves that really, really well. But we have a cross opportunity. I really hope this is not the last, because it might just be the last of the game. All right. All right, it doesn't work out. We have yet another one. I think I want to go far post with this. Hopefully, this mask is really stressing me the fuck out right now, to be honest. Oh my god, what is that? What is that cross? What is that fucking cross? I don't even know. I don't even know what I want to say. I don't know what I want to do. I mean, there's just nothing that you can say or do about this shit. It's just... Like, there's nothing that I can do about it, really. There's just nothing I can do about it. Because Madrid should not be conceding two goals against Valencia after... Like, it makes no sense. Like why why anyways we have the international friendly right now but before i go into this let's look at um how that fucked up our season it was that bad it was that bad we are now fourth position so imagine barcelona keep winning all their matches just imagine barcelona keep winning their matches and the game keeps keeps making us draw every single fucking match we play like how is that going to end up for us at the end of the season like it, it's making no sense to me but i mean there's really nothing that we can do i'm going to play um the highlight of this you know what let's just sim it because i'm really not interested in playing like a fucking friendly but hopefully we score we don't score we draw the match it's not there's no consequences for playing a friendly to be honest so i don't even know what i was planning on playing the other one but i will play the highlight against scotland you know what never mind it's a friendly so i don't really need to play it to be honest hopefully we do win it do we score we score a brace again so um i don't know that obviously not going to count it's not going to count in the game and i don't think i'm going to remember to count it at the end of the series so like like during the tally so i'm just not going to like count any of the international friendlies but it was a good match for one i think or for nil one of those all right up next we have the match against Cadiz. i'm going to be playing a lot of the highlights in this episode because there's not really that major match that i really really want to play. so i mean i think this episode is going to be like a tad bit faster and like shorter than the rest of the videos that i've already done in this series all right so vinicius on the left mbappe sorry um rodrigo on the right i think i'm going to go for vinicius really that's offside great it's not all right so that is a good assist <laughs> honestly i thought it was offside but i just feel like it was at a better position to curve around the keeper finally our first our first penalty uh, what do we do here i always like to do the panenka so um i'm hoping to get this very well there's not many panic i'm going to do i'm just going to pass it normally and well that is our first goal of the match second goal for real madrid i really hope that okay we have a solo run next so i mean we are absolutely flying here let's hope that um nothing else happens nothing bad happens really i think that's too much nah never mind he always he always gets that he always freaking gets that like that is like a repetitive move at this point we always always score those one-on-ones with the keeper it's it's like insane at this point all right so i'm going to get this to mid tower um let's get this out wide to mendy uh, what can Mendy do there? 
Come on, Venga, get this to me. I mean, I swear to God, I passed that to Valverde. I mean, it was so obvious that I passed that to Valverde. All right, so 3-0 at the end of the match. We did really well. I think we got a brace in this match. I can't remember. But yeah, we assisted Vinicius. Then we scored the penalty and we scored the um, the one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. All right, so that is a brace that we scored. The next match is the Champions League match against Napoli. And I'm not going to be playing this one as well because we have already played the match against Napoli. So, I mean, I know I said I'm going to end the episode with this match against Napoli. So, I think I'm just going to like play one more match. I think I'm going to play the match against Granada. That's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to end the episode after that Granada match here. Yeah? So, I'm going to simulate. No, brother, I'm going to play the highlight of this. Or I'm going to be enhancing the passing one as usual because I mean, I never, I, obviously, I will make more than one pass, I think. But like the, the scoring one is not really that set in stone. So, all right, so we have a counter attack. Vinicius, Rodrigo, Rodrigo, you're looking, you're looking to be in a very good position. So I hope, of course, that happens. Of course, that fucking happens. Oh, that is great! Really good pass from Vinicius, and we score it, obviously. So that is yet another goal. Sorry, my throat got fucked up right there. That is yet another goal for Mbappe. That's that was a really, really good pass from Vinicius. To be honest, I did not see that pass coming at all. But I mean, it was it was really really good. It was really well played. All right, so um, power shot here didn't work out. I mean, you should at least let that land before you like say it's a lost ball. All right, who are we calling in here? I'm going to call someone, but I'm not going to pass to him. I'm going to give it straight to Militao, and hopefully you can get a header on that. You cannot. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but we absolutely need to score a goal. I'm getting so confused here. I'm getting so confused here. Rodrigo, that, that was so good. I got so confused to be honest, but uh, I think, oh, Napoli are already like a, a goal ahead. That's bad. And this is probably like the last chance. Can we? Call around the keeper. Oh, that is beautiful. That is just beautiful to be honest. I doubt we have like another chance, but I mean, that was really good to like seal oh we have another chance okay we have one more chance here and we should probably make the most of this i should probably make the most of this right okay let's try and go around okay this defender is giving me like a really tough time vinicius please tell me you're not offside thank you all right so that is exactly what i fucking needed there Exactly what I needed there. Really good pass to pick out Vinicius and really good goal from Vinicius to like get the win. So hopefully this match ends 3-2 and um, the game doesn't pull some bullshit scenario to make us lose the match. To be honest, I was not expecting that final opportunity that we had and I made the most of it. I kept the ball very well and then I was able to like get it to Vinicius who was not going to miss from there. So it's good. If it missed from there, I would have entered the fucking screen and strangled him to be honest. Before I go into the next match, I want to see if there are any cheaper stuff that i can buy hiring an, an assistant i think i would like to do that we have 5m in the bank that is crazy hiring language coach mbappe can he speak all right so he's not i don't know if he's very fluent in spanish he's obviously not fluent in spanish so i think we to hire a language coach donate money to animal shelters i'm going to do that as well hire a personal stylist i think mbappe already has that so i'm, I'm just going to like do it for the sake of it i mean he's increasing my um, points Hire a podiatrist, I don't really need that. Modern home office, I don't need that. Build a sauna, I think I would like a sauna in my house. So I think what I want to do right now is to get a house. So let's go to the most expensive one. That is, a, pri a private jet is um, 17 million pounds. That's crazy. Purchase a luxurious yacht. I don't think I need a yacht right now, but I want a penthouse. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for the penthouse and I'm going to... I think I'm going to get the sports car in the next episode. All right, so we're going to be playing the full match for this one, Ultimate, as always. And I hope that we can get like a hat trick possibly in this match. Granada, I really don't know if they are going to give us a run for our money, but uh, Barcelona couldn't. And let's go Madrid couldn't. And the only team that have actually like really, really uh, given us like trouble is only in the playable highlights. And it's really, really fucking annoying. This is the last match of the episode. So if you have enjoyed this video so far, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's go into the match. So objectives, get a 9.0 match rating, have a dribble success rate of 30%. And this one that is 60, never going to happen. So I'm going to enhance the 31. I swear to go, if you get a 
possession rate over 60 percent like i'm going to like rejoice but because it's it's not possible all right that was my bad i didn't really mean to do that but we can get this already who's going to shoot and score and so fast fourth minute we get an assist already that is crazy that is crazy all right we have the ball again and i'm making that same mistake like for the second time in a row now i'm happy all right the keeper was able to get good gloves on that all right i'm not going to lie this match is looking like it's going to be a piece of cake and we just weren't able to score that i mean we are going to be getting like attacks back to back to back with this gets vicious can we score this and uh, we go straight at the keeper he was able to make a good save get this to cover how can we call for the cross bellingham that is two nil all right so like i said this match is probably going to end like seven nil or something if, if they're not careful all right i swear to god in this match we're actually finding it difficult to like stay out of possession like it's not it's, it's impossible for us to stay out of possession in this match i have no idea what the hell is going on oh no i already called for the fucking pass before he passed it to me i will score with him and the keeper is able to like um make another good save okay can we score here yeah we are forcing some really really crazy saves from the keeper but i mean i feel like if i actually like calm down and do this properly then we probably are going to get this back to me can we score that was not a very good position to shoot in i honestly didn't think we we're going to shoot it that way all right bellingham that's i'm gonna go for you all right I'm, I'm being really really um generous in this match i mean bellingham was like in a way better position i took myself to like a very bad position and i wasn't sure i was going to score that so i mean i just gave it to bellingham there i mean he was in a very very open position and well he was not going to miss from there i thought i actually thought he was going to go near post but he didn't so he actually quite shocked me there all right this match has been absolutely really crazy especially for granada because they like they hardly ever have the ball like this is just one of those few and just like that i'm not even done talking now they already lost it now that is actually crazy oh so that was just like gifted to me and i don't think ibappe is going to miss this is he <laughs> wow the the one time i say that is the one time he doesn't actually freaking score that is just insane all right get this to vinicius can we the keeper is really really being like goated when it comes to my own shots i don't understand why but um i mean we would eventually pull through nice nice and the keeper is able to save that one yet again all right so i don't know i don't know what i want to do to score to get past this keeper but i mean we're lighting we're lighting him up like crazy can we score from this yes or oh, no we don't that was so close all right what can we have here bellingham a trick for you maybe and the keeper was able to save that that was actually really good play from mbappe to find bellingham there really really good i actually like that a lot but can we do something here maybe and the keeper saves it yet again all right i have no idea what i want to do i'll probably like make it cross this time around if i if i see fit all about like he wasn't like running into the freaking thing so i don't know what the hell i want to do here on oh, god bro that's that's crazy bellingham hat trick He was right in front of the keeper and he decided to play it directly at the keeper finally no it was just deflected i was going to notch out with that one i should have blasted it like into the top corner or something like that all right so we have our played it nice please score it oh my god that was a really nice one too with alberti but we just weren't able to score it. i think i should have taken a touch then like curved it so Vinicius is going out for Brahim now. All right, so we'll probably have like just one more chance to get a goal in this match. I mean, it's funny how we haven't scored, but we have like a 10 point match rating. And I would honestly like to um, you know, keep a clean sheet as well. I think this, no, it's not it. Bellingham. Oh my God, that is bullshit. Come on, what is that? He legit held me back. All right, two minutes of added time and 
it might be a good chance for a counter attack if we actually do have the chance for that but it's looking like we might not have it please obviously crap all right so no um go for us in this match i'm going to drop my controller wait what how like the ref should have blown the whistle like a long time ago with that um i don't know what the referee is doing because i mean i don't see how they are going to like score so i don't know why he hasn't blown it yet right, that's the end of the match we did not score but it was a really good match a really fun match uh, we had two assists if i'm not wrong so i mean it was still quite the fulfilling match and all so we weren't able to get the objectives and even though we were like always with the ball for some reason we just weren't able to get 60. <laughs> I mean, we had more possession finally, but like we just were able to get up to 60. Dribble success rate is 77%. I, I feel like I should have done way better than that. And player of the month again, that is good. So I'm going to. That was a mistake. I did not look at what I was doing. So, how many goals did I score in this episode? I think we were on 15 the last episode. And now we are 20. Wait, what? Did I score this many goals? That is mad. That is mad. <laughs> we have 16 in La Liga, 11 in the Champions League. Three in preseason. We haven't started Copa de España or the Super Copa, so um, we have 27 goals right now. It's crazy how we are the only one carrying this team in terms of goals and assists. Like Bellingham is like second to me in terms of assists, goal contributions in like total. So we have, I think that is 39 goal contributions in just 30 games. That is mad. So so Fekir is actually shocking me, being the um, second top goal scorer in the league with 12 goals. We have 16 in 15 matches. The standings for this, we are back to second position. Barcelona, I think they lost their match. So we are second. Atletico Madrid is first with 35 points. We have 34. Barcelona has 33. So this has been a good match. We are pretty close to getting to tier 4. So if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace.